Hi everyone, I'm prepping for my card buffet tonight and realized I didn't have a Valentine card to put out um, on my buffet. So that's kind of a mistake since it's mid-January. I thought I would get my paper pumpkin kit and sometimes I throw that on the card buffet, but I didn't get it yet. I think it'll probably arrive as soon as I pack up the car for tonight. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would add a real quick Valentine and I thought this was super fast and easy and I thought I would share it with you. It um, uses these rectangle framelits, and I just love them. And it's really fast, but I think quite fun and easy. So I thought I would share a video on it anyway, even though it is so simple. So you need three pieces of paper. You've got thick Whisper White cardstock, um, and then a four by five and a quarter Whisper White. It's the regular Whisper White, not the thick. And then this is four by four. And this paper is actually from let me see what it's called. All My Love. The All My Love Designer Series paper. And I showed that in a previous video, so I won't go through it again. But it's quite lovely. And all the uh, products here will be linked on my blog, Best Paper Cuts, if you want to see them in detail. So I'm just trying to be fast today. <laughs> so the background here is just these two pieces. And you're going to use um, your paper snips to cut a little swoosh in the cardstock. And you're just going to start at one end, go up try to be kind of fluid and there you have it that is it and then you're going to stamp in the space left here and the stamp set I'm using is called meant to be and it's got a few different valentines in it all right now you're going to glue these two together Now I'm taking the second to largest of the stitched rectangle framelits. I love these. Second to largest is what we're going to use. And I'm going to, I got lucky. I really should have put this down first to see where to put it. It should be up a little higher and um, that would make it look a little nicer. So we're going to center this because we're going to use the cutout space and the center on our card. I'm going to cut this out and be right back. Now we're going through two layers here, which is a little difficult. You might want to run it back and forth a couple times. And where the two are layered, you might have a hard time going through, but just go ahead and just run my scissor. I was able to get it. Okay. Now we're going to use both of these pieces, like I said, so you're going to take the frame and glue that down. And on this one, we're going to wrap some ribbon around it. So I've got this lovely lipstick ribbon. I have to admit, I have a hard time tying a bow. I'm bow challenged, and I've tried all the little tricks and bow makers. It's just a problem I have. We all have uh, our issues, right? So I do a little faux bow sometimes when I have trouble. And for some reason, some ribbons I think are harder than others. And for some reason, this ribbon gives me a hard time. So I just glue dot some behind. And then while I've got this upside down, I'm going to throw some dimensionals down. And we're going to put that right in the center. Add another glue dot behind just to keep it in place and a fourth glue dot in the middle for my bow. Okay, 
Okay, and then for a final touch, I am using these little epoxy hearts, and the they come in clear, and they look fun clear, but I wanted to make them stand out a little bit. So I used Stampin' Blends. Now these are alcohol markers, and they're permanent, so you can use them to color on things like the epoxy uh, hearts, and you can just kind of go... I color them while they're still on the paper here, or the little plastic sheet because you're going to go off the side and you do want to let it dry for a minute and you can even do a second coat if you want them to darken up. All right, I'm going to grab one that should be dry by now. See how you want to go a second coat on some of them because it, it, it does kind of bubble up a little bit on there, kind of. very fast uh, Valentine card and you can also take some of your stamps and add some more to the middle. I'm going to do to the best friend a girl could ever ask for because my husband just a few seconds ago um, booked my hotel for the Stampin' Up! on stage in April. So um, that's always nice. So I'm going to do that um, but you can decorate the inside any way you like and this is a really fun stamp set for Valentine's Day but really good for other things too with the just for you and meant to be and you can always use hearts. There's a die collection that goes with this that is fantastic and I showed it in another video so go ahead and check that out and it'll also be on my blog so you can see everything that these dies do. They're really cool. Um, and that's it. This is my very fast Valentine's Day card. Hope you like it. Hope you come back again. Thanks for watching. Bye.